beautiful people, it's your girl Yana and I'm back today with yet another video. Today you and I are going to be diving into the world of the dark web yet again because we're going to be taking a look at another luxury dark video where they buy a freaking spider off the dark web. Now I personally am struggling to understand why anybody would want to buy a spider whatsoever, let alone from the freaking dark web. So I am so excited to see how this video goes. If you guys are too, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into it. So for today's episode, Chester found this new website on the dark web where you can buy exotic pets. He's been super excited to check this site out and I've been reluctant about it because of what happened last time. So we're just hoping that this time that things go a little more smoothly. All right, let's sit down and check out this site. We're already aware that when these two end up on the dark web, it is never good. I've said this before and I'll say it again. Pet stores exist. Y'all do not need to be going on the dark web web for this type of stuff. Okay, let's uh, sit down and check out this exotic pet site. Okay, so this is the website selling the animals. Dude, let's go to the worm section. Can, can you calm down? Can we just look and see what's on here first? Okay, let's look at the worms. Okay, so in this section, it looks like we have a goliath bull worm. Bro, it looks we could put that in the bathtub and fill it with dirt. Okay, I mean, let's look at the other worms first. Okay, wait, wait one second here, because it looks like there's also a spider section on this site. Now, I think having a spider would be a lot cooler and a lot classier than having a pet worm, don't you think? Uh, no. Let's go... No. I personally think both options are pretty gross. Please let me know in the comments, would you guys rather have a pet worm or a pet spider? That's definitely a tough one. Bro, if you want to get an animal off this site, why can't we get something that we're both going to enjoy? Dude, let's go back to the worms. Why do you want to go back to the worms? Let's go, let's go to the spider section, come on. Okay, and the description here says, these spiders will crawl inside your heart and nest, giving you a feeling of warmth and paralyzation that money cannot buy. Okay. Oh. Dude, that doesn't sound right. Okay, let's look at the spiders on here. That does not sound right whatsoever. What kind of a pet ad is that? Okay, so these are the spiders that we have on here. We have the skinny spider, the pig-eating spider, Ugh. the pale-faced spider, and the black goliath spider. Bro, let's go back to the worms. The Dude, are you afraid of spiders or something? No, it's just they're not as cool. I mean, you can find worms outside easily, bro. You can't find spiders like this anywhere else. Let's check out the black Goliath spider right now, okay? Oh. So it says on here that the black Goliath spider is their largest spider. This is a pregnant female ready to lay eggs. Keep away from small children, the elderly, and pets. Okay, I mean, this thing sounds kind of terrifying to me. Keep away from small children, the elderly, and pets? That does not sound good to me whatsoever. Yeah, dude, then let's go back to the worms. Dude, I don't know why you want a worm from this site so badly. You already have worms. It's a worm farm. It's not the same thing. Many hobbyists- You can call them whatever you want, bro. You have worms, though. Oh my goodness, Chester really wants a freaking worm. I don't really understand why, though, because it doesn't really seem like an entertaining pet to have. To each their own, I guess. Let's just get the spider, all right? Okay guys, so we just ordered this spider. Apparently this thing weighs almost 20 pounds, which is very surprising to me because it doesn't look that big in the picture. Uh, I don't know when exactly this thing is going to be delivered, but it says within the next few days, and we're gonna get text notifications for when it's going to arrive. Dude, this spider better not touch me or I'm gonna freak out. Well, you just said that you weren't afraid of spiders, so I don't know why that would be a problem if it wanted to touch you. Yeah, I'm not afraid. I just don't want its hairy arms on me. It really sounds like you're afraid, bro. I guess we'll see when it comes in, right? All right, let's uh, let's conclude this. So it looks like they ended up purchasing the Black Goliath spider. This spider is supposed to be 20 pounds, which is absolutely insane. I mean, this thing is basically a monster. Not to mention, they did pay a pretty penny for this thing. And since there's no refunds allowed, let's hope everything goes smoothly. Yo, dude, I just got a message that the package arrived. Okay. Let's uh, go check the door. Let's open the door. There it is. Should we bring it inside? I don't know, dude. It's got a chain on here. All right, uh, so I guess it Bro. thing's kind of heavy. The spider's in here. Why do they need a chain for a spider? That's 
actually a very good question. Why would you need a chain to contain a spider? Unless the spider is like insanely strong. Okay, so breaks out of the box. All right, so you wanna open this thing up right now or do you wanna open it up upstairs? Uh, I guess let's go upstairs. All right, I guess uh, let's take this thing up. Bro, did you see that? Bro, how strong is this thing? Dude, the box just moved. Now I can see why they put the chain on there. Oh, I don't know. Okay, uh, uh, let's, uh, uh, let's take this thing upstairs. Oh, uh, uh, dude, I don't want to touch it. Let's get a look at this thing, okay? There is truly not a world in which I would approach, let alone touch that box. This thing's not venomous, is it? I don't know. You hear it? It's scratching on the box. You think it could get out? Well, I didn't get out yet. Let's just take it upstairs. Come on. Okay. Very clearly, this thing does not like being contained in that box because it is scratching trying to get out. Again, not a very good sign. I am so curious to see where this thing goes. Got the box right here. We're going to try to open this thing up and uh, get the spider out of here. Do you have any idea how we're going to remove this chain? Do you have like bolt cutters or something? Okay, I got nail clippers. Okay, why do you have nail clippers? Because it has a fire line, bro. Bro, the nail clippers aren't going to remove this chain. This chain is made out of steel. Listen, I really love how persistent Chester is being, but there is absolutely no way nail clippers are going to cut through that chain. I don't know what the hell he's thinking, but it is definitely not happening. Okay, how about we just try sliding the chain off of the box like this? Can you slide that side off? Okay. All right, all right, we got that off, we got it off. All right, let's just cut this thing open with a pen. You got this? Oh, bro, this box has a certain smell to it. Dude, I don't like this thing. Okay, wait, I think we're about to see the spider. There's another box in here, bro. What? All right, so this is the other box in here. It says, notice biohazard level two. This is um, 11, dude. Dude, this is Roman numerals. Roman what? Okay, something sketchy is definitely going on here. Because why the hell is a spider being kept in a biohazard box? Unless there's something seriously wrong with the spider. Uh-uh, it is not looking good. I think the spider's in this thing here. Oh, dude, I can hear it scratching. Let's put this down. Dude, wait, there's like a pirate symbol over here. What? What are you talking about? Never mind. All right, let's just, uh, let's open this thing up, all right? Okay. Oh, bro. Is that webs? Oh. All right, bro, this is- Is that is... down there? Yeah, that's a spider down there. <laughs> I am mean, a little bit more creeped out than this thing that I thought I would be. Do you want to, like, take out the webs and, like, look at this thing more? Oh, what is it doing down there? All right, do you want to just put the lid back on this thing and put it in the tank that we have in the garage? Dude, get this thing away from me, bro. All right, let's just put this thing in the garage. Why just looking at that thing gives me full body chills, especially with all the spider webs on top of it. I literally cannot. I also find it really funny how this is supposed to be their pet and they're both scared to touch it. Like clearly you didn't make the best choice. All right, so let's put this spider in this tank here. Oh, dude, keep it away from me. All right, so we got this thing on top of here. Do I just pour it in? Yeah. Oh. Bro, I, I don't want it getting out. Can we put something on top? Yeah, well, what do you got? You got some, some bricks or rocks or something? Yeah, let's just stack some stuff on top. I actually think that is a very good idea. Stacking a bunch of stuff on top so that thing cannot get out. Can you even imagine having a loose spider that size running around your house? No way, I would be moving out immediately. Okay, so we found these rocks outside. Oh, it's, it's a heavy one. I mean, there's no way it's lifting these rocks, bro. I can barely lift that. Okay, so we got this camera going. Let's just see how this thing behaves at night when we watch the footage in the morning. Bro, this thing is really creeping me out. All it's right. staring at you. It's not staring at me, bro. It's curious. Okay, can we go inside now? It's cold in here. So it looks like they got their pet spider settled in its new home. I do think leaving the camera running for the first night is actually a very good idea to see how this thing behaves and what the hell is even going on with it. I guess it's time we see how the spider feels about its new environment.
actually at a loss for words right now. You're telling me this spider just knocked four ginormous rocks off the top of the tank? This thing is like insanely strong. And also, why the hell is it even trying to escape in the first place? This thing is definitely up to no good. around the house is so gross to me. Alright guys, so it's almost 4 a.m. right now. I just heard a very large crash coming from downstairs, so I'm gonna go check it out. Hello? Someone here? I'm gonna go check on that spider. Yo, what? Okay guys, so I'm about 90% sure right now that uh, this spider got out. I gotta go tell Chester, although I'm really not trying to alarm him. I'm sorry, you're 90% sure? I'd say based on the evidence that this thing escaped 100%. And now y'all have a problem on your hands. Chester? 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 Chester! Bro, I think I'm done with Yo, what's in your mouth, dude? What's in your mouth? Oh! That is the most disgusting thing I have ever freaking seen in my entire life. Did that spider just shove a bunch of cobwebs in Chester's mouth? The absolute audacity of this spider. He was fully on top of his face while he was sleeping. I can't lie, that would send me into a full-on meltdown. A spider that size on my face. Yo, go wash your mouth! Get up! Oh, get up! Go you, wash your mouth! Why you let it out of the tank? I didn't let it out. I swear to God, bro, it escaped. I did not let it out. Wash your mouth. Dude, what is this stuff? Oh. Okay, guys, so it's the next night right now. Uh, we're trying to see exactly how this thing even ended up breaking out of that tank. So let's look at the footage we have here. Bro, it's squirming around like crazy. Yeah, it probably didn't like being in there. We should have given it some water or something. Maybe it was thirsty. Bro, we're lucky this thing didn't eat the cat. Yo, dude, look at that. What's it trying to do? Bro, it just broke through. Yeah, I know, dude. We know it broke through. I can't believe it lifted that up. Dude, I hate to say this, but I have to see what that thing did in your room. Oh, dude. I don't know. Let's see. Dude, what's it doing so close to my face? Uh, I don't know, bro. It's definitely doing something with your mouth. You normally sleep with your mouth open? Dude, do you think it was laying eggs in me? Dude, I have no idea what it was doing to you. Can you imagine if it laid eggs in his mouth? That is actually so freaking sickening. These guys need to get rid of this spider ASAP. I don't care what y'all do with it, but this thing has to go. Okay, I mean, I, I think we saw enough, right? Mind if I shut this computer? Bro, I, I feel like I can feel them in me. You can feel the eggs in you? Dude, come on, bro. Dude, I feel something crawling around. Dude, you're being hypochondriac right now. I mean, do you want me to take you to the doctor's office or something? Dude, I need to get like an ultrasound or something. An ultrasound? You think you're pregnant with this one? Dude, this is a joke. Bro, as soon as the eggs hit your stomach ass, they probably dissolved. And that's if there were eggs. We don't then know. Then why was it near my mouth? I don't know, bro. It probably just was warm or something. Probably felt good for it to put his tail on there. Dude, you think oh. way too much about this, okay? Let's 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 go, all right? Let's let's cut this video. All right, you guys, so we finally made it to the end of this really crazy video. It looks like Chester is convinced that the spider laid eggs in his mouth, but from the looks of it, it appeared to be just cobweb. Either way, it's really disgusting and definitely shows you why you should not be buying pets off the freaking dark web. It's just never a good idea. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe. Definitely let me know in the comments if you guys would ever buy a pet spider off the dark web. I love you guys so much. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.